It's hard to describe the feeling that a scientist or a doctor obtains when they find something that's never been found before. There's a rush that one feels. It really gives a feeling of such immense joy that you just want to keep going back for more. Stewart is the founding chair of our Department of Oncological Sciences at Mount Sinai and is a world-renowned cancer researcher. His extensive investigations into oncogenes and growth factor signaling have resulted in diagnostic tests and FDA-approved therapies for certain cancers, making him a leader in the field. Stu Aronson is definitely the seminal leader that established the infrastructure and the culture and the breadth and depth of research here at Mount Sinai. I'm really proud to have contributed to the development of the institution, to the point where it is now one of the top 10 or 15 medical schools in the country. I'm proud of the fact that we have an NCI-designated cancer center. I'm proud of the people that we've trained that have gone on to lead other departments and institutions, both here in this country and around the world. He's really witnessed and, and helped lead this transition out of the sort of dark ages of lack of knowledge in the disease and this new knowledge, which has really been the framework for developing new therapies for the disease. In breast cancer, we found a gene, a member of a family of receptor genes, that we identified as being amplified in a breast cancer. And that gene we called ERB2, or now it's also called HER2. It led to antibody therapy for breast cancer that is in many cases curative, or it leads to really long-term remissions. It's a huge, huge moment in our treatment development. What did Mount Sinai gain? Mount Sinai really was put on the map in terms of cancer research. We always were very strong in terms of clinical aspects of cancer, but he has really put us on the map nationwide as well as in the world in terms of cancer research. By honoring Dr. Stuart Aronson with a Jacoby medallion, we are honoring a man who has been a force of nature in cancer here at Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai has given me a wonderful opportunity. We keep pushing, we keep on developing. People go into the lab, they wanna find something important, and you, you hit your head against the wall. But if you're lucky enough to identify something and then learn for sure that it's important, Above all, I'm proud of the things that we've discovered over the years that I hope have contributed to better health and better treatment of cancer.